black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, so we are going full Ken Domic KBD Productions today. I am his offspring from the future in the past of the future's past. I don't know what I mean, but we are eating out of a Circle K, AKA a, uh, a, a convenience store, <laughs> chili cheese dogs, okay? And never a dull moment at the Circle K. I just witnessed shoplifting, confrontation, security guards doing jack shit, um, other people being weird. The whole thing is always a circus and I like to get in and get out. And these take longer than I'd like to be in that store, but it's the only place I can find a chili cheese dog. So four for $6 too, good deal. We'll talk about it. <laughs> I, however, must first bring in for the real thing cam. And on the real thing cam, you're gonna see a tub of sour cream that I bought there, some jalapeno, pickled jalapenos, and a party mix. But we're really looking for those ring -alos. And we're gonna do a graduation of chili cheese dogs, if you will. We're gonna go plain chili. I'll explain it to you as I put it together. All right, one plain chili cheese, one plain chili cheese with complimentary sour cream, one with the complimentary sour cream and ring -a -lows for a little <laughs> crunch factor, per bite crunch factor, all right? Really getting that gas station gastritis. And then for the finale, one with pickled jalapenos and some ring -alos, right? So there it is in all its glory. We're graduating grade nine, 10, 11, 12. Senior year, graduation. Okay, let's eat these. First things first, grade nine, a straight chili cheese dog. And we'll talk about Circle K and what I just witnessed and what Circle K on a regular basis is generally like. Now, have a bite of this, then we'll chat. Mm. As trashy as it, as it is, you can't argue that it is delicious. And two for three dollars. Pretty solid deal for these days. Six bucks for two jumbo size hot dogs with chili and cheese. Uh oh. Not bad. All right. <clears throat> Go in a circle, K. Okay? I don't know what your local Circle K is like, but mine. It's like going to the trap house. Just going to the Circle K is just like walking into the trap house. You're going to get all sorts of shifty, shady characters in there. Doing some sketchy shit most of the time. Such as just now. Grade 10. Now let me preface this by uh, saying I feel bad for a lot of these folks. I don't know the circumstances of their life and what led them to where they are, but obviously it's not been great. When you're not raised in a great environment, things don't tend to work out, you know, as good as they could, I guess, but we all have our decisions in life to make. What I'm saying is really, is when I rolled up, there's a guy outside barely standing in another planet, basically. And he pulled out two bottles of the extra strength Listerine from his jacket. This 
then I go inside. I go to the back, start making these hot dogs. Two pretty weird people back there with me. I'm just trying my best to not engage, let them do their thing. And then I started trying to find a bun that wasn't, buns that weren't cold because they had just put them in the steamer. And the hot dogs themselves, I think, had been on the roller for just like a few minutes. And the guy comes, the, the clerk, he's like, the hot dogs aren't cooked yet. I felt it. I'm like, is it warm? As long as it's warm, it's cooked. Like, you can just take a pack of hot dogs and eat them raw. Because it's pre-cooked meat. It's already cooked. These guys didn't seem to, under seem to understand that. But I said, hey, as long as they're warm, I'll take them. I'm getting major storm vibes right now. It's uh, very se sepia, sepia tone out. Very orangey type of light right now. It's pretty crazy. But uh, while that was happening, <laughs> me trying to convince the guys that I'm like, yeah, hot dogs are pretty much pre-cooked. You just need a little heat on them. Um, and uh, I'm going to eat them. All of a sudden, I turn around and there's like an influx of like 10 people. Mm. And this one chick's just zipping around, bopping around, being totally sketchy. And I could see the one worker, one clerk guy, just kind of watching everything that she's doing. Now, I don't know if she paid for like one thing and had the uh, stolen goods on her. But went to try to leave and he's like stopping, trying to stop her, and there's like a whole commotion. He's got like power, all these power aids in her pants. He's like, I can see it in your pants. That's right there. And she's like, You guys are crazy. What are you smoking? Like, da da da. da. Two security guards there. And then she eventually just like left, like was able to leave with the stolen goods. <laughs> And nothing was done. <laughs> Dude was threatening the cops, but she didn't give a fuck. Mainly because, honestly, the security guards and those people, they really have no power. Unless you willfully submit to them they can't do really fuck all to you and i know this because my sister was a manager of like a retail store and they said they just always have to try to intimidate these people into like sticking around and waiting for a couple of cops but if they want to just push past you and leave they have the right to do so they can't do they can't physically detain you or harm you or anything like that so what's the point of even having security guards i guess for intimidation but really they're useless they can't do shit and honestly for a minimum wage working in the trap house of the circle k take the power aids i'm not putting my 
life in front of a sketchy person who might shank me out of desperation for two power aids like you're crazy if you think i i would ever do that like take whatever you want i don't i'm not stepping in to stop this person especially for minimum wage all right grade 12 i am very full though <laughs> see maybe get a couple bites on this we'll see how much of this i eat graduation uh, I will say that uh, security guards really some of the craziest mofos because like you're in harm's way and sketchy positions with like n no protection, nothing to protect yourself. Other than like your, your Krav Maga training or something, but. For real. They don't get any weaponry. <laughs> I don't even think they get like mace or anything like that. <laughs> what I do know is I think sometimes the experience. Is a stepping stone to like police foundations maybe. So. Suppose you gotta go through it if that's your goal. If you need that requisite experience to get to the next step, then I like I understand it, but also just a very mind numbing pacing around the store boring fucking job I'll tell you what i would never security guard but power to you if you do all right i'm beat there's almost only so much processed cheese sauce that one's palate can handle And I've reached my limit right here. So I know Circle K's do exist in both America and Canada. I do know that. Um, it used to be a place called Max Mart. Don't know if that was strictly Canadian. I think it was. But they've all transitioned to Circle K's now. And they're always, always some weird crazy adventure there's always something ridiculous happening at a circle k there's always some wild ass characters that you're just trying to avoid until you get done your transaction and get the fuck out of there right i don't love going to circle k but it's necessary sometimes so you know they should really call it Circus K. Okay, on that note, I'm out. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.